Over the past 18 years, I have had the privilege to serve as a police officer in this great community. Many, many times, I and the other Loveland officers have responded to help our fellow citizens in their darkest hours. We do so without reservation, because that is our duty. Frequently, those darkest hours for our community members involve the unchecked escalation of negative emotions. Strong emotions can certainly be to our benefit. We feel happy, joyous, hopeful, proud, elated, and so on. However, sometimes we also feel frustrated, sad, angry, depressed, even hostile. These negative emotions, if unchecked, can continue to escalate and lead us unwavering toward those darkest of hours. Every police officer with a few years of experience can tell you situations involving the escalation of negative emotions cause people to behave unpredictably, often counter to their true rational self. Police train in specific ways to help in these situations. You may be familiar with the popular terms of de-escalation techniques or even crisis intervention training. This area has been well researched and documented. I am proud to say every Loveland officer is required to attend training in this area. One of the simplest ways I have learned to counter the escalation of negative emotions is to provide a pause. Pause for just a moment and think about how words or our actions may affect those around us. Police officers do this every day by injecting themselves into situations and simply providing an opportunity to pause and think about things in a little bit different frame of mind. To pause, if only for a moment, and consider the path they are on without the negative emotions. Many times, the simplest act of pausing can de-escalate situations just enough to allow more peaceful resolutions to present themselves. It is easy to look around the world and see what happens if unchecked negative emotions continue to build without pause. How many marches, protests, or demonstrations begin peacefully with good intentions? But over time, negative emotions continue to escalate until one small spark causes a shift to a much darker path, one of hostility and violence. I watch those events on the news and wonder what might have happened if people had only paused for a moment to rethink their path of escalating negative emotions. Again, thank you, Council, for allowing me just a moment to speak. I do have one request. I suggest that you consider holding an executive session in the future under Ohio Revised Code 122 G6 to discuss details relative to the security arrangements and emergency response protocols for this public body. I anticipate the disclosure of these matters could reasonably be expected to jeopardize the security of this public body or this public office. I am happy to attend such a uh, meeting and answer any questions you might have. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Gray.